All right, good day and welcome. In our today's class, we are going to be dealing with shear force and bending moment. So the first case we have on the board is um, a simply supported beam carrying what a concentrated load W at its mean span. So what we have here is nothing but a beam of um, AB, a beam AB of length L carrying a consecrated load. So I'm going to be showing you, we're going to be proving how to get what the shear force and the bending moment for this case that we have here. So you agree with me that the length of this beam is L. It implies that half of it will, not, will be what? Will be L over 2 and L over 2. So here, I'm going to be having L over 2 here, which is the length from this place to this place. And um, similarly, I have L over 2 here, which is the length from here to here. And of course, we have um, a support at this point and a support at this point. So of course, there will be a reaction here. So this will be R. The reaction here will be RB. R subscript B and the reaction here will be what will be R subscript A. So that's all for that. So in order to proceed, the first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be what considering the forces of this beam. So we know that um, sum of upward force is equal to sum of what is equal to sum of downward force. Now, if you are considering this beam, we have two upward forces and one downward force. So R B is an upward force. R A is an upward force. So our sum of upward force, we can say Ra R A plus Rb is equals to W. Now let this be our what our equation one. So this is what we have for equation one. So similarly, we can proceed by saying um, by calculating our moment at point A. Now we know that moment is nothing but what? It's nothing but force times perpendicular distance. So if we're calculating moment at point A, we have um, a force here, which is a reaction, which is RB. It will be multiplying the perpendicular distance even up to A, which is L. So we have RB multiplied by L. If we come, if you come to this point, we have a force here, which is what? Which is W. Multiplying what? The, power, the distance here now is what? It's nothing but L all over two because we are taking moment at point A. So moment at point A, summation of moment at point A will be equal to zero. Now, like I said before, RB, which is our first force, multiplied by what? Multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is L, is nothing but what? RB multiplied by what? Multiplied by L, which is the length. So next, we have what? We have um, W, but mind you, we are going to be considering what upward forces to be positive. We are going to be taking upward forces to be positive and downward force to be negative. So if we do that, W here will be what will be negative. So we have minus W multiplying by multiplying this by its perpendicular distance, which is what L over two. So we have L all over two. Everything is equal to what is equal to zero. So this is what we have. So next, what can we do from here? RB multiplied by L is nothing but what? R subscript B L. This will be equal to, if I move this to this side, we are going to be having W L all over what? All over 2. So this is what we have. If I make RB the subject here, RB will be equal to W all over what? All over 2. So this is what we have. Now, from equation 1, we know that RA plus RB is equal to W. From one, we know that RA, this is subscript plus RB is equals to W. Um, so if I make um, RA the subject here, it implies that RA will be equal to W minus R subscript B. So from here, I can substitute the value of um, RB. It implies that RA will be equal to W minus W all over what? All over 2. So if I take the LCM from this point, the LCM here is 2. So I have RA to be equal to 2 all over what? 2 multiplied by W is what? 2W minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 multiplied by W is W. Uh, 2W minus W is nothing but W. So RA will be equal to W all over what? All over 2. This implies that the reaction at A is um, W all over 2 and the reaction at B is W all over 2. So we can write it here. We can say RB 
is equals to W all over what? All over 2. And similarly, RA is equals to W all over what? All over 2. So that's, that is that for that. So now we are going to be calculating what? The shear force. We are going to be calculating the shear force. So let's start. So we are going to be calculating the shear force. Now, for a simply supported beam, if you are to calculate the shear force, shear force is nothing but what? It's nothing but the sum of what? The algebraic forces. If you are considering a section of, this, of a particular section, either to the left or to the right. So if you are considering the shear force at this point, it will be nothing but what? R, B. So the shear force at point B will be the reaction at B, which is nothing but W all over 2. So S dot F subscript B will be equal to what? W all over 2. Because at this point, this is the only force we have. So if we are considering shear force at point C, it will be nothing but what? It is nothing but W all over 2 minus what? Minus W. So this will be our shear force at point C. So we'll be minusing the shear force at B from the shear force at, from the force of um, C. So our shear force at C will be equal to what? W all over 2 minus what? Minus W. So this will be our shear force. As you saw, W over 2 minus W is nothing but what? It's nothing but 2. We have 2 here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Multiply by W is W. Minus 2 multiplied by W is 2W. So this will be equal to what? W minus 2W is nothing but what? Minus W all over what? All over 2. So this will be our shear force at C. Of course, to calculate our shear force at A, what do we do? We have a force here, which is what? W all over 2. We have um, minus W plus W all over 2. So if we do that, we are going to be getting the shear force at A. So shear force at A is nothing but what? W all over 2, which is an upward force of B minus what? W at C plus W all over 2 at A. Plus W all over 2 at A. So why we have... W to be negative because W is going downward. We have a downward force here. All upward forces are positive. We are taking all upward forces as positive and all downward forces as negative. So from here, we have W over 2 plus W over 2. This, is, this will be equal to 2W all over 2 minus W. Now, if we take the LCM, this will be equal to, we have 2 here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Multiplied by 2W is 2W minus 2 multiplied by W is 2W. So we have 2W. Now, 2W minus 2W is nothing but 0. So this will be equal to 0 all over 2. And 0 all over 2 is the same thing as 0. So our shear force at A will be equal to what? It will be equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and do the calculation for the bending moment diagram. For the bending moment, before we draw the diagram. So bending moment calculation. This is what we have. So now for the bending moment, we know that bending moment is nothing but what? But force times what? Perpendicular distance. Now, before we proceed, you need to note that for a simply supported beam, the bending moment at both supports is equal to zero. So the bending moment at B will be equal to zero, and the bending moment at A will be also equal to zero. So our bending moment at B will be equal to zero. Now, at C, we have what? We have W at C. So, in order to calculate the bending moment at C, we are going to be multiplying what? Force times perpendicular distance. So, we have a force here, which is W all over 2. It will be multiplying what? L all over 2. W all over 2 multiplied by L over 2 minus what? No, we have W all over 2 multiplied by L over 2. This is the... This is the um, this is how we can calculate the bending moment at point C. So, 
which is this is because w over 2 is the force and the perpendicular distance is nothing but what l over 2. So bending moment at c bending moment at c is equal to what is equal to w all over 2 multiplied by what multiplied by l all over what all over 2. So this is what we have. So this is nothing but what this is nothing but wl all over what all over 4. So this is what we have. Of course, we know that the bending moment at A will be nothing but what zero. So our bending moment at A will be equal to zero. So this is what we have. So next, we can go further and um, draw the shear force and then the bending moment diagram. Mm -hmm. So this is what we have. So we are going to be drawing our reference line for our shear force diagram. So let's draw a straight line, which will represent zero. So we have a straight line here. So we are going to be using this as our reference line for our bending moment, for our shear force rather. So this is what we have. So our shear force at B is nothing but what w all over 2 and it's, posit it's positive so we can just move to any point let's say here is point is w all over 2 so we have w all over 2 here so this is what we have so now of course from this point to this point there is no shear force so the line will continue even up to this point So this is what we have. So next, we have at, um, at point C, we have our shear force to be what? Minus W all over two. So of course, this upper part is positive and the lower part is negative because we are half zero here. So if I'm going down, I'm going down W minus W all over two, which is negative. So we go down to any point called minus W all over two. So we can call here our minus W all over what? All over two. Of course, there is no force from this point to this point, so our line is going to continue. We have our line here, moving up to this point. Now, our shear force at point A is nothing but zero, so we are going back to point zero. We are going back to point zero. So this is what we have. So we have minus W all over 2 here, and um, W all over 2 here. So this is how to draw the shear force diagram. This is positive and this is negative. So this is what we have. So next we'll be drawing the bending moment diagram. So let me get a line here. So my bending moment. Reference line for my bending moment diagram. So bending moment at B is nothing but zero. We know that here is zero. So our bending moment at C is nothing but what W L all over four, which is positive. So we will come to this point. We are going to go positive now. For bending moment, if we have a shear force diagram, of course, which is straight, our bending moment is going to go. It's going to be inclined. So we have. We are going to trace it to any point here since w all over 4 is positive so we are going to go positive up to this point so let's say this point is w all over 4 so we have here to be what w all over what all over 4 so 
W L all over four rather. You have W. I can just draw it inside W L all over what all over four. So of course our bending moment at A is equal to zero. So we are going back to zero. And going back to zero, of course, because this place is straight. So we are going back to zero inclined. So this is what we have. So here is zero, and here is also zero. So this is our shear force diagram. And this is our what? Our bending moment diagram. So this is what we have for a simply supported beam carrying a consecrated load at what at mid span so next we are going to be looking at what a simply supported beam that is carrying a consecrated load but not at the mid span so thank you for watching and stay tuned for case two